Welcome to my workshop. My name is Tomasz and you're watching Casual DIY channel. In today's video I want to make a small versatile sled for my table saw, the Evolution Rage 5S. So let's try to make one. The main material I'm going to be using to make my sled is this laminated chipboard 18 millimeters. For the uh, runners themselves I'm going to be using plywood that's six millimeters in thickness I'm also going to be using a T-Track as well. So, first of all, let's make the runners. Now, my mitre slots are in a very awkward shape and size. I've measured them and they came out about 19 and a half millimeters wide. So, I'm going to do just over 20 millimeters for the first cut and then I'm just going to sneak up on the cut until I get a perfect fit in the mitre slot. And as you can see, a few passes and I've got an absolutely perfect fit for my runner. Okay, now it's time to attach the runner to the piece of chipboard I've got. As a point of reference, as a guide, I'm actually going to be using the fence I've got, which should be parallel to the mitre slot, which is parallel to the blade itself. To do that, I'm just going to put some washers in the mitre channel, just to erase this a little bit. And just like so. Okay, I'm going to put some wood glue on it now. Not too much. It's just to uh, grab the runner itself um, to the uh, chipboard. So later on I'm going to come back with some screws, pre-drill some holes and going to secure it that way. Now I know this board is straight cut so I've got a right angle here. Uh, so I've got no issues with that if you don't make sure to take a square and make sure that both of these edges are square. Um, I know I do have that so now I can butt this edge against the fence just like that. Drop it on the runner making sure I'm just on the edge here on the fence. Okay, put some weight on it and leave the glue to set for a while. After the glue has set, I'm just gonna pre-drill a few holes to add some screws uh, to the runner itself to make sure it will stay in the designated space. And now with my handsaw, I'm just cutting off the excess of the runner. Now, as you can see, I'm setting up my blade with a digital level box uh, to 45 degrees. I want my sled to have one end to be ready for 45 degree cuts. Hence, I'm just using my digital level box to find the correct angle. And after that, we'll make the cut. Now, unfortunately, I forgot to switch on the camera somehow. So I made the cut without you seeing it. Sorry for that. But uh, I think you uh, get the point there. We've got a nice clean and crisp edge on our sled. That's the off cut. Perfect. Now I'm going to sort out the other side of our jig. So I'm moving to the other mitre slot and I'm going to cut a straight edge this time. So I've set up the blade back to 90 degrees. Now with my router and the jig I've got for it, um, I'm going to create two channels to accommodate the T-tracks. Okay, so I've got two T-tracks cut out to the right length. They go just like so. Um, obviously, we don't have enough material to use screws to screw them in. So my second best way to attach this is five minute epoxy. And that's what I'm gonna be using in this case. Now 
Next, I'm going to be installing a fence on my sled. It's only a thin strip of plywood. I don't need a big fence with God knows what on it. It's just a reference point where I need to rest my piece of work. For any clamping solutions, I've got the T-Tracks there for some jigs and for some clamps, which we'll sort out in just a moment. So as you've seen, I've just added a bit of glue to hold it in place. And after that, when the glue sets, I will um, reinforce this with a few screws. And as you can see, I'm using my square to make sure everything's aligned correctly. Okay, now let's turn our attention to some sort of a clamping solution for our sled. Okay, I've got a piece of plywood here, 18 millimeters in thickness, and I'm gonna make two channels in it at the start and at the back of it. That will allow me to thread a bolt that will um, go into the T-slots on our jig. Now, if you don't have a router table like I do, uh, you know, you can use a jig saw just pre-drill two holes at the start at the end and just cut it out with a jigsaw or just make several holes with a, a normal um, drill bit and then clean it up with a rasp. And for my clamping solution I'm gonna use toggle clamps. They are perfect in this scenario. Now let's add the bolts and some star knobs. I'm gonna add a washer as well. And let's test our jig. This sled is absolutely perfect for cutting smaller pieces on your table saw. With the toggle clamps, you can secure your workpiece. But that's not all. You can also cut tapers with this jig. Also, you can change the position of the movable fence with toggle clamps to any of the T-tracks depending on what um, clamping needs you will have and what position you're going to need. Any angles are possible with this jig. And don't forget about the 45 degrees on the other side of the jig. You want to make a picture frame? Let's do that. Perfect 45 degrees. No problems at all with this jig. Got a wider piece, no problems. Perfect. On top of it, this can act as a stop block as well. If you want to, make those repetitive cuts at equal distances.
And as you can see, it works absolutely fantastically and it's dead on accurate. Obviously to start with, make sure your blade and your fence and everything else is actually square. If all that is square and accurate, making this jig is an absolute breeze. And to be fair, sometimes we get lost in making those massive sleds where on most occasions, we're actually gonna be cutting tiny little things. So something like this will be absolutely perfect. And I know for a fact, this will come in very handy in few of my upcoming projects. So <laughs> as you can see, it's absolutely that simple to make. You can cut 45, 90 degrees, no issues at all. You can cut tapers, you can cut straight cuts as well, cross cuts, anything you want with this little jig, plus the clamping solution on top of it as well. Makes it a very, very versatile and a safe sled for your table saw. Now, I hope you enjoyed this little video and this little project. And if you did, don't forget to drop me that like button down below. But also, I've got quite a few videos where it comes to upgrading your workshop, workshop projects, anything like that. Uh, there will be a playlist just over here, so you can go ahead, click that, check my other videos, and uh, I'll see you on those videos there. Take care.